What's the number one thing you need to glitch build? Watch to the end to get the answer. Hey guys, what's going on? All right, I got Discord here and I'm looking at some of these builds. Um, like this one right here, Veritas Valles. You see this? You see how you got these cuboid roof tiles up here on the top and he kind of stuck in this um, this hydroponic tray right here? If we look a little further down, you'll see that um, that that hydroponic tray is embedded in those um, in those little cubes there that he used as uh, decorative pieces. Same thing here. If we scroll down a little more here on Discord, by the way, if you're not uh, a member of the Beeble uh, Hive Discord, um, give him a shot. You know, he's he's got a lot of friendly people in there, willing and waiting to to help anyone that's um looking to learn how to glitch build so we got pez s right here with some really cool stuff i'm telling you that looks awesome pez good job man you know and this is this is just basic stuff not you know nothing too complex nothing too crazy let's have a look at something else let's see we have his gritos here and we he got um he got a, a glitch technique working on here that uh that inverted the floor tile so it kind of looks a little concave right there all right, we're just having a look here at what some of the stuff that Pez posted. Got a couple of thumbs up there. Yeah, this is some good work. Nice, nice, look at that. Nice use of parts throughout. And you know, some of this stuff isn't really that hard. And uh, I'm, I wanna show you a couple of techniques and, and we're gonna go through that in today's video. Okay, so if you can take both your hands and snap your fingers at the same time, you can glitch build. Take your controller, and as you're holding the part, that quick. Obviously, I need to jump in game to show you. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into our build camera by pressing up in the D-pad, and if you click on the left analog stick, it'll take you into build camera. Let's go up in here and take these triangles out of here so we can adjacency from the frontage to the floor panel. and last one so you want to make sure that you get your frontage on the snap point you can see the blue or the potential and um sometimes they'll turn red and if they're red that means that you can't place them and all we're all we're doing is we're using the d-pad you know to just to just get over to the floor panel and then when when you got your snap point in place you just adjacency from the frontage to the floor. That's all you're doing is you're pressing you're pressing the button on the D-pad practically at the same time. Here's the, the, the button for the D-pad right here, up, down, left, right on the D-pad. I'm going to switch over to the floor panel as you're placing the frontage. Okay, so you do one as you're doing the other. Let's do this one now. You're gonna have to excuse my analog drift there. There we go. And see, I'm just switching. I'm using my thumb to switch right back over to the frontage. I, I get the floor in, and then I just switch right back over to the frontage so I can do the next one. And they can go pretty fast too. And once we get these frontages, uh, the floor panels in with the frontage, we're gonna work on the uh, the center to get the paving. To use the paving to get the pipe. Get that out of there. There we go, okay, now go down into the adornment section, and then we'll just stick these pavings in there. And right over to the pipe. Oh. There we go, and we'll do that last one again. One more time. Remember, we're just switching from the paver over to the pipe. And there it is. Here are a few other adjacency glitches to help you get started.
quick pro tip from the adornment section. If you're trying to get a part in and it's just being very stubborn, try resizing it. If you make the part smaller, you can glitz the part in. Alright, so if you found any of this info helpful, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and with your help, I can reach that goal. So now to reveal the number one thing you need to glitch build. I'm GT Apex. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. So what's the number one thing you need to glitch build? Patience. You need a lot of patience. None of this stuff's gonna come to you overnight. And even a master glitch builder misses a glitch every once in a while. Just keep at it. With time, you too can glitch build.